Hi guys, welcome back for more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We are going to be continuing the story and I believe we are now, hopefully, heading to London, maybe? I don't know, let me check around with you first. So let's do this. Okay, we're in Ravensthorpe and we're gonna go speak to Ranvi. Hey, Vol, have you seen Wallace? Sorry, no, I haven't. Well lit. Ah, glad to see you made it, Shelbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Chestershire? The Alliance has won. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. Yas, pledge complete. You have not been long in England, have you? Oh, what's happening? At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king. But that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Shailbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. Oh. Political speech. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandabridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of- You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Shut up, Dad. Uh... Do not claim. Do I do not equal. claim to be Sigurd's equal. But I will not shy from the triumphs I have fairly won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any one of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn. First to Sigurd. May he return to us soon. And to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you. And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Stop! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. Uh, rude. I have definitely earned my own glory. There is enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it, and I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curs! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others, stay here. Let's go. Come on. With me! And me. I'm here too. Who do these people think they are?
He's a he's a skull crusher. The hell is a skull crusher? He just seems to be moving very very fast and not like, just dashing around everything. Oh goodness sake! Look at this. You're on fire, my friend. Quite literally, not in a good way. Oh, lovely. Just wore myself out trying to move that. Definitely only meet death there. One more. Oh, no one there. What? Again? Right, okay, someone else took him out. That's a nice amputation there or that not? The, last of them? the rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Keatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one. <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find an ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound, scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to sign around for you. I don't like that, like, dag, and very... I'm a nice person. Go, and do not return. Oh. I thank you. This is not mercy. It is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits, should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find Stupid Dag. To show mercy would endanger us. Soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call. But I am. And if you cross me again, he will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Yeah, severely annoyed but at no you. no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up. And we'll talk of next steps. Definitely does feel like we're the one in charge while Sigurd is away, but I would have expected Ranvi would be the one that's in charge. Obviously not. Ah, a new letter. Mm, let's have a quick look at the letters. What do we have?
You entered my mind today. I was thinking about how I felt when I lost Grant Bridge, the anger, the doubt. You helped me reclaim my city, but you did not. You did more than that. You helped me reclaim what I had lost in myself. Today, my people, my city, they are stronger than they've ever been, and I am proudly the once more. Ah, oh, you're very welcome. Very, very welcome. Who are you, young person? Knut, what are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor, we need your help. Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No, they're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. Okay, we're doing this. I didn't expect this to be a quest, but here we Where go. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. I'm hurrying. Run in a straight line, it'll be quicker. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Oh, come on. This is ages away. Not going to get there quick enough. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. Oh, there's wolves. Let, let me guess. That's the reason. Oh. I haven't got time. Let's Come go. Neighbor. I'm Has coming. Oh, that's just rude. is about sorry a we had to trick you but it wasn't my idea it was iris lying is not a good way to get my attention children but we found a dog that needs your help she's caught in a trap down there we thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog why'd you say that that is not the sound of a dog ira that is a wolf but a wolf is a kind of dog yes my mother told me that of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There is no need. Let me see what I can do. Uh, we must okay. help her. She could be starving. Poor her. She is crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. Right, what's the best way to do this? Is there a way down through this house, do we reckon? Let's try this first. Oh, look, there's a key. Key. That warthog has the key. The key to the front door. I must be cautious opening it. that wolf and pray to tear that I needn't slay it in front of the children the table is set he never made it home at least his end came quickly mm. here wolfie 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 the man liked his trophies at least he leaves that legacy oh he's caged easy. it that's why easy you have a kind look to you I think wait Easy now. Deceived easy, by children easy. and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. 
Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it's time to get you three back to the settlement before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. I mean, it's very Chin good. Up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. Come there and back we go. You should not be exploring the woods alone. You understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. Oh, more oh. wolves! And not our new friend! Stand back! Are there any? Oh, there are more. Oh. That took care of them. Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. The wolfka. What? The wolfka. It's like dog wolf. Uh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? I'm gonna go with the Wolfgar because I don't <laughs> the other two are too well, this one's really weird, but you know, it works. The Wolfgar. It has an absurd sound just like all of this. She's our best friend. Come then to Wolfgar. Now we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. Well, <laughs> have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned, just until we get home? I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now, just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now, Scamper off home and take your new friend with you. A oh, man's best friend. Oh yeah, I'm hoping that means we can bring Wolf with us or something like that. Right, okay, cool. I've got 5,000 experience for that. Wow. Gotta love that. Right, um, I'm gonna move on to... Where's the longhouse? Um, Evil. If you've a moment to spare. I'm sorry, I don't at the moment, Petra. I'll be back later. Let's look at the Alliance map. Put them right over there. Good day. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. Show I want me the map. to see the Alliance map. Okay, dokey. Right. The... So we've done a letter Chestershire. Right, East Anglia is where those guys are that have just come to us. Um, I kind of want to do London, but that's level 90. I'm level close-ish to that. Oh, look, I've just seen notice the ticks. I'm going to do East Anglia just because it is around the level I'm already at. Um, I'll work my way up. Those Dane invaders. They came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. 
Okay, definitely think that's a good idea. Oh yeah. I'll make the trip east then. Speak to this vineyard myself. A good plan. I did. Be careful out there. Okay. I did. I'm right over there. Keep them out. Right, so we're heading to East Anglia. Let's make our way there then, shall we? Norwich. Suffering hard times, I see. Alright guys, I believe we're going up here to... Oh, me and bloody ladders, it doesn't work. We are going into the longhouse. What? What's happening? Finier? Oh, no, not unless Hafton sent you. Um, that one. Whoever you are, I want to know why there's no king on East Anglia's throne. Because the man in question ain't been married yet. Once he is, East Anglia will have its king. And little else. Which man? <sighs> You know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who cannot keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the arse and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Show me the king. Uh, Oswald of Elmenham. He was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl. Made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane. For a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft. And the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. You just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now. Pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. Oh, great. Tale of St. Oswald. Right. So, we're taking a nice little journey then. God. Right, here we go. Let's go find this king to be. Okay, that didn't take very long. Oh, he's there somewhere. Oh, he must just be outside, I reckon. It wasn't us. Your just... I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. 
without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. I think you need to set things right first. Um. Oh, um. Let's just go with this top one. You handled that well. Disputes between Saxon and Dane don't always end so cleanly. That was a clean result. A dispute ending without bloodshed is as clean as they come. Quite a brutal outlook. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I am not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Helfden's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well. And I am here to see that it does not happen again. Lately, I've come to learn you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmham is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Oh, that's not very nice, is it? Why don't they approve of you? We'll keep talking then. I'm right here. I haven't run away. Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. There is smoke ahead. That's Beatley. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. Yes, let's have a look see. This place is heavily guarded. Is it? I haven't noticed. Oh, I thought there was two people there for a second. I did not know there was someone there. Uh, oh yeah, you can see me, okay. Oh, I missed. Of course I missed. More people. Hello. Oh no. Okay, so that's how they look. But my bad. That should be the last of these pig-faced cowards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. But uh, we're obviously going to come back and do that at a later time. Oh, why did he have to be all the way down here? Come on, mister. King to be, you can't be a coward there. Come on. Seriously, what are you doing? Get up. Ruiz clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. Um, I'll be, happy. I'll be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Okay, we're going to Elmham, or however it's pronounced. Because we're still completing this Kingmaker. 
And I think I'm going to beat him there by the looks of this. Okie dokie, this looks like a nice little pretty village. Um, yeah, here we go, up to the longhouse. A healthy seeming town. Alone, Must wait until night falls. Okay. Okay, right, so let's meditate because that will change us tonight then. Ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I ask you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Binir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that the is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty arse. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm my here name. to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruet's clan. But between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolfkist, or you'll find it freed of your face. So. Easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this. You heard me. Oh, yeah. That's it. Let's take him down. We need to take him down a peg. Weak. It's a little bit ridiculous that we'll fight both of them at once. This is no way to ensure I'll be clean. No, but it's a good way to ensure they shut up. Oh, come on. There's a gun. Down you go. That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia's in the state it is. <sighs> you are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I'll find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. That sounds good to me. Okay, quest maker, or king maker Seems even, Oscar completed. Set out for the day. I should have a word with him. Yes, we will have a word with him, but I think that is a good time and good place to stop the recording for now. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you in the next one.